Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A very important misconception which is generally found regarding Islam in women is the fact that Islam is a misogynistic religion. It is a male chauvinistic religion. It gives more rights to, to men and not only that, it actually condemns women in certain, in certain affairs. Uh, one of these things is that it is narrated in certain narratives that uh, women are actually a source of bad luck. They are an ill omen for people and they can become a source of bad luck. Now, uh, if we collect all these narratives and uh, we collate them and compile them, we come to realize that the picture is absolutely different. The Prophet never said that women are sources of bad luck. And when some people actually uh, informed Aisha that Abu Huraira had narrated this narrative from the Prophet, she became very angry. And she said that uh, the Prophet never said these words. He was just saying that in the, ages of, in the age of ignorance, people would attribute bad luck, not, not the Prophet, the people would attribute bad luck to a horse, to a house, and to women. So what the Prophet was actually saying was not the fact that women are sources of bad luck. What he was saying once, and which was actually misreported by, his, by a famous companion, as famous as Abu Huraira, that he, he, he just said that people of the age of if ignorance, or the Jahiliya period, they would regard a woman to be a source of bad luck. So it is absolutely essential to realize the fact that whenever we study narratives, we must collate all, all these narratives. We have websites on Islam, we have a lot of material uh, from the critics of Islam who uh, perhaps do not realize that uh, when they have to study a hadith, they cannot just study one variant of that hadith. They have to realize that the hadiths have been transmitted by various people and in order to get an idea of what the Prophet actually said, it is imperative, it is essential to collate and to collect and compile all relevant hadiths on the same topic and then see what the picture emerges. Now if one, frag if one variant or one transmission of that hadith is uh, just studied, which actually does say that uh, bad luck is found in a woman, then of course one would conclude this fact. But however, if this narrative, all the variants of this narrative are studied, one comes to realize that what the Prophet said was that this comment, that this, the fact that a woman carries bad luck is something which the people of the age of ignorance used to say. They used to say that a woman has bad luck. So it is essential that we must realize that whenever we study Hadith narratives, we must study them in their totality. A very a common example uh, would be found in certain in, in some narratives in which uh, we find that uh, pictures have been prohibited. Now, uh, portrait making and uh, prohibition of pictures have become part of the, the Islamic thought and most scholars, almost every scholar believes that it is prohibited to make pictures because there are certain narratives which say that one, not, one not, must not make these pictures. Now, here again, if we collect and collate all these narratives, one comes to realize that this prohibition is very specific. It is not that all kinds of pictures and all kinds of portraits and all kinds of photographs have been prohibit, prohibited or forbidden. The case, uh, the actual matter of the fact is that only pictures and portraits which are of deities or people who are worshipped or objects of worship, they are only forbidden. So uh, this is just by collating and collecting all Hadith material on the same topic that one comes to realize the fact that what has been said is actually different. So in a nutshell, one must realize that when one studies Hadith narratives, one must study those narratives in their totality and study all the variants. And coming back to our main topic, it is absolutely erroneous to believe that women are symbols of bad luck and that the Prophet never said these words. He was just attributing this saying. He was just saying that people of the age of ignorance used to say these words. Akulukali Haza, Bastakfirullah Ali, Walakum, Walisairil Muslimina, Wal Muslimat.